What is up guys, the Strong Boys 19 here. This is going to be my first update video for the new year. I apologize, I didn't do the update video at the end of January or the 1st of Feb because I've been very busy, most notably for me being in the band. I've been performing, that's why I didn't have the chance to make an update video earlier on. I haven't bought a lot of stuff for this update. I am really happy, however, to show you guys what I've got. And mostly it is on to the returning possession of the German Krautrock scene, being one of my top favorite genres of all time. And let's dive into it. The first record is from Ian Brown, and that is Golden Greats. This is an original pressing on the Polydor Records label. It says limited edition gold vinyl includes Love Like a Fountain and Dolphins Were Monkeys, other amazing songs, Getting High, Set My Baby Free, my favourite Golden Gaze. And this is, for me, his best album. And I absolutely love it. One of my favourites of all time. Simple packaging. Um, both sides contain the lyrics. And the record itself is on the beautiful gold coloured vinyl. The issues that I had with this album, crackling was present on most of the tracks. And as I was about to lift up the stylus after the last few seconds of the last track on this album, the stylus just quickly decided to move to the middle of the label, which is really weird. Thankfully, it didn't damage the labelling at all. Besides the annoying, consistent crackling, the songs mostly played very well. But there is a music on vinyl remaster of this album that's limited to 2,000 copies. And hopefully, I'm going to be buying that. This is really cool still to have an original pressing of one of the most underrated and overlooked solo artists ever so i highly recommend ian brown's solo stuff well really his earlier stuff because in my opinion his later later stuff aren't as strong but that's just me the other two records are from one of my favorite german bands of all time and it is la dusseldorf this one is the debut this is not an original, but it's got a really nice label on there. And the music itself is fun, joyous, and formed by the, the Dinger Brothers. So I highly recommend that you should check out La Dusseldorf. And uh, I really think that they are just one of the the greats in the uh, German experimental synthesizer driven scene in the German movement and their second album too, Viva. Great album. This is just as a classic and I am very interested to get their last album, even though that it's not like as well praised, but this was released on this this record label right there like la dusseldorf just as amazing and i highly recommend this band too there you go you can see the label better and the original pressing of this album contains uh an insert which doesn't for me on this pressing however but uh, i'm very happy to still have the record it is in great condition and strangely, again, it comes with another blank record sleeve. So I don't know why they did that. It's very strange when some people decide to sell a record that they just decide to add in a bonus record sleeve instead of like the inserts or something else that's a big part of a pressing. I don't know. It, it's, it's something unusual that some record collectors have to deal with. But if you haven't checked out La Dusseldorf, I highly recommend their material. Don't mind that. That's just like a thank you note from 
the eBay seller. <laughs> so, the CDs. Three of these are from Amundal 2, so I'll go to that band first. Dance of the Lemmings, and I absolutely love this album. This is, for me, my favourite Amundal 2 album. It is experimental, very trippy, psychedelic, jammy based, and I think their instrumentation to this album is just one of the the best I've ever heard in the krautrock scene ever. Of course, with Faluste and Yeti being highly acclaimed and as like one of the essential albums, but I think this one is the best Amandol 2 album. So check this one out. The other one is Viva La Trance, which is in part of some uh, digital remixes and remasters series. This one is very, very different. It's quite poppy on most occasions, so this one I need to play more to dive into it better. But I like what I've been listening to so far. It does contain a few bonus tracks that I thought some of these could have been included better than some of the stuff on the original track listing. Other one is Carnival in Babylon, which is another very overlooked album. I think this is another awesome Amundal 2 record. Jammy, again, quite psychedelic as well. Little poppy stuff too, but this is more on a uh, uh, rocky, jammy-based kind of vibe. Really great album, one of my favourites. The last two CDs, the other one is the debut from Michel Rotter, one of the members from Noi, and this features the legendary Jackie Liebersy from Can doing the drums to this album. It is an instrumental. This is his debut album. Very, very good. It is positive, uplifting, and the music to it is you know, wonderful. It's wonderful stuff that I highly recommend. And the last thing is Agitation Free. Second, I haven't got their debut album yet, but I need to purchase that in the future. This is pretty much like a uh, progressive space rocky kind of sound. A reissue from 1996. Agitation Free are becoming one of my new favourites in the crowd rock scene, so I'm really interested to dive into many other crowd rock acts instead of just listening and discovering music from the obvious greats. I love music. <laughs> so that is it for my update video today, guys. Again, sorry that I haven't done this update video a few days ago. I'm going to be doing some more album reviews, and I only done one on Overkill by Motorhead last month. I'm going to be doing so many more, and I can never ever stop anytime soon. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll keep you guys posted for more videos in the near future.